Hi all. I'd like to do a quick video on putting tire chains on your pickup truck. And uh, I want to demonstrate how easy they go on when you jack up the uh, tire just a little bit. So here I'm putting the jack up underneath the axle. I'm trying to get it as far over to the left as possible because uh, I, I need the room to slide the tire chain behind the tire so that's as far as I can get it because the, uh, the shock is right there to the left you can see the yellow the yellow shock bolts it on to the axle. This is just a small jack, small floor jack from Walmart. Uh, I did that video on that bigger jack a few weeks ago. I could have got that one out. It's it's back in the shed, but it's about a hundred pounds all kinds of snow on the ground it's kind of hard to drag that thing up here so this one was handy I just went ahead and grabbed it if I could have got the tire up another inch or so it would have made putting the chain on a little easier you can see the tire still kind of hitting the ground if I put the jack on a board that would have been enough room those two by fours off to the side there those didn't work I tried that but uh, the jack kept falling off so I cut that out of the wheel maybe a, a 12 inch board 12 inch wide two feet long that would probably do the job. You can see up front there I, I got the front wheel chalked with the rubber chalk and uh, the tires on the driver's side I've got bricks behind those. The truck's on a slant, the driveway is slanted and uh, I just didn't want that thing sliding backwards while I got it up in the air. I've read that the only thing that holds it in place is the transmission and if the transmission slips the truck could start going. Okay so when you slide the tire chain around the tire try to keep it as neat as possible and then uh, you don't have a tangled mess to straighten out. Uh, it was real cold out here that day. It was like 10, 12 degrees. And uh, I wasn't really dressed for the weather. I, I just thought I'd throw the tire chain on real quick. Here I'm trying to straighten out the tire chain. Uh, got it wound up a little bit uh, if this is the first time you've seen these tire chains I did four previous videos where I go into detail on how to put them on so if you watch those this video will make more sense this video I'm just doing a quick one showing how jacking up the truck makes it easier to put them on. The old fashioned way of putting chains on, you know, laying down on the ground and drive on top of them. That might actually work with these. You know, we might have to try that. You know? 
Uh, I never really used the old-fashioned chains. I think I put them on one car back when I was a kid. And they just... They beat the fenders all, all up. They weren't tight. They weren't tight to the wheel. They flop around, just beat up the fenders. You know. Okay, so I got the front one clipped. Now the last one is the one on the bottom in the front. That's the one that always gives you a, a hard time. So this is where, if I would have had the tire up just a little more, this would have went a lot easier. I timed this earlier and it took me about two and a half, three minutes just to get that bottom clip on, which is, I think, is really fast. Uh, I think I, when I did the previous videos, it probably took five or ten minutes of just fiddling around with the chain, trying to get it to fall in place. But just having it jacked up a little bit, that cut the time down to like two minutes. And if, if I had the tire jacked up just a little more, it would have cut the time down to like a minute or less. But I'm still fighting with the snow in the back, and trying to get it to pull up and around so I can clip that bottom clip. more yanks right here when you clip this clip you got to get your fingers out of the way you know that that allows the chain to sit against the tire and that gives you an, an extra inch or so the chain's not wrapped around your gloves right here my fingers in the way I have to get my finger out of the way and then I got it clipped okay now I'm gonna go get the rubber fastener basically it's just a big rubber band I suppose in a pinch you could use 12 inch bungee cords, the uh, thick black rubber ones, but uh, you can buy, buy spare bands on eBay. You get a pack of two for like 20 bucks, a pack of four for 20 bucks. Uh, they don't have to be real perfect the perfect size because these things will stretch out so if you just need a few spares probably something that's close would be good enough you know, if one happens to break I think one set of chains I bought came with one extra and the other set of chains came with two extra so the one set actually had four bands in it okay so jacking up the truck that definitely made putting the chain on a lot easier.
Okay, so thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.